Hello Capricorn, Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. This is going to be a quick reading, mini quickie for Capricorn. There's going to be one after for uh, Virgo and then Taurus. So let's go ahead and get started. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. So let's go ahead and start Capricorn's reading right now. And then I will timestamp for Virgo and Taurus. Spirit, what messages and guidance? How did I do this? There we go. What messages and guidance do we have for the sign of Capricorn, please? Quickie for Capricorn, please and thank you. Capricorn quickie, please and thank you. I don't think spirit has any words. I'm hearing don't stress. So the first card I the first card I have is the Queen of Swords. This is about you guys speaking on things that make you uncomfortable. This is about you speaking the truth standing in your truth being honest having clear direct communications communication and setting very clear boundaries i also have the king of cups there's like a lot of emotion in these photos because there is the ocean in the back the water is associated with your feelings so i feel like there may be somebody coming and you're going to have to have those boundaries but this could be about you even though you're full of love and being supportive as you normally are, Capricorn, this is about you not just being that loving and giving person, but also being that person that puts your foot down and tells a person when they're not treating you right or when something doesn't set right with you. And if somebody doesn't treat you the way that you know you deserve to be treated, don't stay with them for the sake of staying with somebody. I know people are so afraid of starting over, but there's so many more fish in the sea. Thank you. And so I have the Eight of Swords. Actually, it was in reverse. So this is you guys getting out of your head. This is not being in your head any longer. Not allowing people to be in your head. Or not allowing people to put you in your own head to where you stay in your head obsessing about something that's not changing and not improving. And then I have the Ten of Wands. This is for you to know when something is a burden. When something is a burden and not allowing it to keep you in a, a negative mental headspace. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. So we have Virgo at 3.30. So let's see what we have for Virgo. Virgo quickie. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. This is also um, for you Virgos. Take what fits and leave the rest. Take what fits and leave the rest. All right, messages for Virgo spirit. What messages do we have for Virgo? Please and thank you. This is a Virgo cookie. Ooh. Oh, I fell on the floor. The Nine of Swords. I have the Nine of Swords. This is you guys being in your head about something, having sleepless nights, nightmares, anxiety, depression. Some people may actually be feeling suicidal, like they're going through so much mentally. It's kind of like where they're like, I don't want to be here anymore. Virgo, everything will be fine. I know it may feel like a lot, but you can get past this. You can get past this. Messages and guidance for Virgo. Virgo quickie. You need to focus on the things going well in your not life, not the negative. Focus on the things that you have in your life that you should be happy for. 
you have more things in your life that you should be happy for than the negative but a lot of you are focusing on the negative instead of the positive so po focus on the positive things know that you have the key to your happiness you control your happiness for some of you this is just about getting out there and doing new things don't stay cooped up in the house and having anxiety and just being depressed about how things are the feelings temporary you take that step you make the positive change in your life you are responsible for your happiness this is the best card in the deck so, some of you may actually need therapy, or you may know somebody that needs therapy and they're in their head having nightmares and anxiety and taking pills to go to sleep. You might even know somebody that's taking pills and drinking to go to sleep. That's not safe. That's not healthy. But sometimes people just need a little push in the right direction to remind them of the positive things in their life. You. Virgo might actually be the sun in someone's day. You might be the person that brightens the day for them to let them see the positive things and the things that are going well in their life. I feel like this is what this is about more than anything. You being the sunshine in someone's day that's going through a lot and encouraging them to take a leap of faith and to take care of themselves and to get out there and, and see what's available to them whether it be new experiences and new people. So that is what I have for you, Virgo. And then we have the quickie for Taurus. And Taurus is going to be at seven minutes. So Taurus, quickie please. Mm, look at that toxic Capricorn right there. All right messages and he's right here too messages for taurus please and thank you quickie message for taurus sun moon rising venus north and south node quickie message for taurus please and thank you i already had two cards come out mm, three cards so the first card is the eight of swords it's still upside down. So this is you guys getting out of that headspace to where you're feeling trapped in a mental prison. You're no longer in a mental prison. Taurus, you have a lot of options, but just know all options are not good options. Some are deceitful. Some people may be snakes. Um, some people may change on you. Some may be emotional vampires. Everything may not be as it seems. There may actually be some confusion presented to you. Um, somebody may actually confuse you to try to get what they want. Sometimes people confuse people to manipulate them. So be mindful of that. But the good news is that you don't allow people to make you stuck in your head any longer. You don't allow things to keep you stuck in your head. But Spirit is telling you, Taurus, to trust your intuition in regards to a decision that you have to make. For some of you, this could be romantic because it has to do with the emotions. But for others of you, it could just be a lot of options available to you and you just taking the time to choose and not rushing and listening to your intuition and your higher power. All right, Earth Signs, that is what I have for you. I appreciate you liking my video and subscribing if you choose to, of course. Um, and until next time, I love you. Bye.